Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you to the Kaijin Digital Insights webinar on QCI Secondary Analysis, Kaijin's cloud-based NGS secondary analysis powered by DNA Nexus. My name is Mary Ann. I'm the Global Campaign Manager for Kaijin Digital Insights, and I'll be the host and moderator for today's webinar. During today's session, all attendees will be in listen-only mode to avoid any background noise during the presentation. Within the ON24 webinar platform, you'll see several windows open in the browser. There is a media player window that will be showing our presentation. Depending on the size of your screen, I would encourage you to play around with the size of the windows, especially if something is unclear or too small. You'll see that on the left side of the screen, there is a Q&A section called Ask Question. If you have any questions for the presenter or regarding our solutions in general, please let us know here. At the end of the presentation, we'll have time to answer the questions during a Q&A. If there are any questions that we don't get to today, we'll follow up with you shortly by email. Now, I'd like to introduce our speaker for today, Ajay Atable. Ajay is a Senior Manager for QCI Services here at Kaijin Digital Insights. He received his MS in Bioinformatics from Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts. And Ajay has 10 years of experience in building variant calling and interpretation pipelines for clinical NGS assays. So now I'll hand it over to you, Ajay. Thank you, Marianne, for that introduction. Uh, hi, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about our new QCI secondary analysis offering, which is a cloud-based NGS uh, platform for your secondary analysis uh, pipelines. So our QCI secondary analysis is a new offering. And what we have done here is we have enabled our secondary analysis pipelines on the cloud-based DNA Nexus platform. So, you know, DNA Nexus is one of the leaders in providing bioinformatics uh, cloud-based uh, platforms for the past, more than past 10 years. And we have partnered with them to make our tools, to make our secondary analysis pipelines available on the DNA Nexus platform so you get the best of both worlds. So you get uh, high quality secondary analysis uh, algorithms, uh, mostly variant calling algorithms uh, from us. And then you get the robustness and the ease of the cloud-based uh, platform from DNA Nexus. And when you put those two together, you, you get this very powerful combination of uh, having these uh, pipelines run on, on a cloud-based platform uh, so that uh, you from your side have these pre-built pipelines available on the platform. You don't have to maintain any local hardware yourself. You can just run the pipeline in the cloud and then interpret the results uh, from, from those pipelines. So what I've tried to depict here in this slide is, is uh, kind of the overall workflow for the platform. And I'm, I'm going to walk through this. So typically for your clinical assay, you, you have your wet lab part where, where, you, uh, where you typically have some, some panel that uh, you do the library prep and, and then you have the sequencing step where you sequence those libraries uh, on, on your, your platform of choice. So it can be either an ion torrent sequencer or an Illumina sequencer. Uh, and I'm, I want to kind of uh, mention the first uh, advantage here of our platform is our platform is sequencer agnostic. That means we can build pipelines uh, on for any, any sequencer. It can be an ion torrent, it can be Illumina. Uh, we, we can build pipelines for, for any sequencer. So, so you have your assay, you have your sequencing step. And then once you have the raw data from your sequencer in terms of sequencing reads, uh, that's when you can upload that data and, and we, we can provide you tools to if, if the raw data is in your local environment or on, on or locally on your sequencer, 
we, we will provide you tools to upload that data to the platform. Uh, if you're using something like Illumina Base Space, then there, is, there are tools available to even directly pull your FASTQ files or the, the read files directly from Base Space into the platform. So you don't even have to uh, download them locally first and then upload to the platform. So that, that saves you a step there if you're using uh, Illumina Base Space uh, platform. So once uh, the data is into the platform, uh, then you will have pre-built secondary analysis pipelines for your assay. So the, the other advantage that I want to clarify here is uh, not only are the pipelines sequencer agnostic, but these pipelines can also, that they are also panel agnostic. That means we can build pipelines for any panel. So we'll de definitely for a Kaya seek panel, uh, we, we, we do have pipelines built. Uh, but it doesn't have to be a Kayaseq, uh, Kayagen panel. Uh, it can also be a, an Agilin panel or a Twist panel. And, and we can enable uh, you with a pipeline for those panels also. Uh, and then the third thing that I wanted to clarify here is these tools or the pipelines that we enable for you on this platform. Uh, they are also tool agnostic. And by that, what I mean is, uh, we, we not only can build uh, these pipelines using our world-class CLC tools, uh, but we can also enable other pipelines and tools such as the, uh, one example being the Illumina TSO 500 uh, pipeline, which is available from Illumina can also be enabled on this, uh, on this cloud-based uh, platform instead of having to run that uh, TSO 500 pipeline locally. So we, we can make any pipeline uh, of your choice available on this platform so that you don't have to run that pipeline locally. So uh, once you have your assay, now, now you have your assay, you have your sequencer uh, run, you uploaded the data to the platform. Uh, once the data is in the platform, uh, you will have your pre-built, pre-configured pipeline ready in the platform. All you need to do is to select which pipeline you want to run. You might have one, or if you have multiple panels, like if you have a somatic panel and a germline panel, you might have two pipelines. So you, you select your pipeline of choice for the data. And, and then, then you just, it's one click of a button. And then that pipeline is, is going to run on this cloud-based platform. Uh, and and it's, it's going to produce results. So the other thing that I wanted to mention is because this is a cloud-based platform, it's also very scalable. So, and, and by that, what I mean is uh, it, we can make this as uh, fast as possible for, for your sample volume. So if you have a smaller sample volume, uh, you can choose like a more uh, lower, like a server uh, setup, and and then if you if you have uh, more extensive high throughput uh, sequencing results, then then you can even parallelize your your analysis so that they they finish much more quickly. So it, it's very flexible in in terms of uh, the setup that you can uh, use for for these pipelines so that you get to your results uh, quickly. And then once you have the results, once you run these cloud-based pipelines, uh, then the, the results are ready for you in the platform itself. And because it's a cloud-based secure platform, uh, you uh, can, it, you are flex, it's flexible enough to, to do, if you want to share that data with a collaborator or, or, or with a partner, it, it's, it's very easy to do that. Uh, it, it, within, even within your organization, if you want to like share the data or, or control access, that is also possible with this platform. And, and then of course, uh, archiving uh, the data is, is uh, also possible in this, in this uh, cloud-based platform so that you, you don't have to maintain uh, like a big local data archive on your local environment, uh, your, your data will be secured, securely archived in, in the cloud.
So uh, the takeaways from, from this slide is uh, this is our new offering, QCI secondary analysis. Uh, it, it's a cloud-based secondary analysis uh, pipelines. Uh, it, it's our pipelines enabled on the DNA Nexus platform. So world-class um, bioinformatics pipelines enabled on the world-class DNA Nexus uh, platform. To, to give you the most uh, powerful uh, tool for, for your variant calling needs. And it's sequencer agnostic, it's panel agnostic, and it's, it's tool agnostic. So you, you can start with any sequencer, uh, any type of data, it can be fast queues, it can be U-bands, uh, run your pipeline and, and then get, get high quality results at, at, the, at the end of, of, of it. Uh, so, just to uh, focus on the main points of this uh, new offering, so QCI secondary analysis, what are you exactly getting with this new platform that is powered by DNA Nexus? So, first is panel agnostic workflows. So, I said we, we can enable workflows for any panel by any vendor. So. Uh, in, in addition to our Kaiseq panels, uh, the Kaizen panels, uh, which have workflows available for, for sure, but then if you do choose to go with something like an Agilent panel or a Twist panel or, or some like Illumina Amplify, uh, uh, workflows can also be enabled for, for those panels on, on the platform. Uh, bulletproof security. So as I said, DNA Nexus, the DNA Nexus platform, it's, it's a brand name. It's been uh, around for more than 10 years. It's, it's a very secure cloud-based platform. It, it has all the certifications listed here, but most importantly, HIPAA, CLIA CAP, uh, FedRAM, GDPR for Europe. Uh, so uh, by partnering with DNA Nexus, we are getting this bulletproof security. For, for the platform itself so that you, you can be rest assured that your, your data in the cloud is, is very, very secure. And because the platform is HIPAA compliant, uh, you could even uh, upload a PHI data to this platform. This platform is capable of accepting PHI uh, data also if, if, uh, if need be for your pipeline. So this platform gives you as I said, partnering with DNA Nexus and, and making our pipelines available on this platform, this whole solution uh, gives gives you that bulletproof security and gives you that peace of mind that that your the data that you're uploading to this uh, cloud-based platform is is uh, extremely secure. And then even if you choose to archive it in this platform, it, it's going going to be very secure. Uh, the next point that I wanted to focus on for this tool is uh, workflow optimization. So not only can we build pipelines, cloud-based pipelines for, for any panel, that is panel agnostic, as I mentioned before, but we will also optimize those workflows for, for your lab. So and by that, what I mean is uh, even if uh, it's an out-of-the-box panel from the vendor, uh, typically, what we have seen is each lab has their own nuances in the way that they do library prep, uh, the way their lab processes uh, work. Uh, the, the data that comes out of that panel uh, can be a little different depending on those nuances. And we will optimize uh, the workflow for, uh, to account for those nuances to provide you high quality results from, from the workflow. So we will uh, basically work with the data from your platform to optimize uh, the, the workflow so that you, you get the best in quality workflow for, for your needs, uh, for, you, for your lab. So it, it, it's custom, it will be custom built for, for your lab. Uh, it will be custom built for your lab processes uh, and, and, and the data that is uh, coming out of uh, of, of your lab processes. So, and, and what this also means is once we complete this optimization and, and then 
enable this pipeline for you in, in this uh, cloud-based platform. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of configuration on the pipeline itself. So all you need to do then is to just run this pipeline whenever you, you have those uh, sequencing results. So that's another advantage there is you don't have to worry about uh, tweaking the parameters or, or tweaking the workflow in any kind of way. The workflow is locked. Any, uh, any personnel from your organization uh, who doesn't, have necessarily the bioinformatic expertise can also then run these workloads because all you need to do is to basically sign into a web browser and and kick off that pipeline uh, that that is all that is uh, needed uh, next one that i wanted to focus on is you do not need any significant local hardware so typically ngs uh, assays the the data that is uh, produced the raw data is, is very large in quantity. So if you were to analyze that data locally, you would definitely need to maintain a powerful hardware such as servers uh, to, to analyze that data in-house and, and uh, storage drives and, and so on and so forth. Just because the amount of data is so much, it needs the processing power. And then you also need uh, storage to uh, store the results uh, because uh, the size of the results is also large when the data is this large. So if, if you were to do this locally, you would have to maintain, it, not only purchase a lot of hardware, but also maintain a lot of hardware uh, and, and which can, can uh, just increase your, your cost. But with this, you, you don't have to maintain any kind of local hardware because if all, all the pipelines are cloud enabled uh, even the storage is cloud enabled. Uh, you, you don't have to maintain any sort of local servers uh, yourself. So you, you just upload the data to the cloud and, and then you, you can download the results that you want or, or even you can keep the results uh, in, in the platform itself. Uh, so that, that's up to you, but you would not have to maintain a lot of local uh, servers as such, which, which can be uh, a lot of time sync and cost sync. Then finally, uh, worldwide and world-class uh, expertise. So uh, Kaijen as a company, we have been doing this for, for multiple, more than 10, 15 years, uh, say even 20 years, uh, is uh, we have expertise in building NGS uh, variant calling workflows, and we have a global footprint. So we are a global team with, with unmatched expertise in, in building these NGS workflows. So when you partner with us, uh, we, we do all the heavy lifting of uh, the building the workflow, optimizing the workflow for, for any, any panel, any sequencing platform, and, and we, we enable that for you. And that lets you focus on what you do best uh, that is science, and then for for like uh, getting if it's a clinical assay, getting your reports, getting your variant interpretations, and and getting to your uh, the final report to the patient uh, as uh, as quickly as as possible. So when you partner with us, uh, we we do all the heavy lifting for you in terms of analytics, and and then you can you can focus on on science. Uh, so I just wanted to finally focus on how easy it is to analyze even an entire sequencing run with this new uh, secondary analysis, high and secondary analysis platform that I mentioned. So in a very, in a few simple steps, you can analyze an entire sequencing run. So as I said, step one is you will, uh, either upload the data if you have it locally from your local sequencer to this platform. And, and there are tools such as a bulk loader options available so that you can, it is basically a drag and drop. You just select the folder and, and, and upload the data to the platform and, and you're ready to go. Uh, as I mentioned before, if, if you have, if you're generating fast queues uh, or, or your raw sequencing data in tools such as Illumina Base Space, which is also a, another cloud-based tool platform, uh, then 
there are options available to even pull the data or the fast queues directly from base space into this uh, second analysis platform so that you don't even have to uh, download it locally and then upload it. So it saves you a, a couple of steps there. Uh, so, so yeah, step one is you, you upload the data to the platform. Uh, step two, you just select the entire sequencing run and you select the pipeline. As I said, there, there's nothing else to do here in this step. Uh, you just select the data that you want to analyze. Uh, you can select the entire sequencing run and then the, the pre-built, pre-configured, optimized pipeline that I mentioned before will be ready for you. So you just need to select which pipeline to run for, for these uh, sample data. Uh, and, and then that is it. That, that is the only two things that you need to select. So you select the samples that you want to analyze, and then you want to select which pipeline uh, to, to analyze these uh, samples with. And then step three, you just click on start analysis and, and that's it. Let the platform do its magic and, and the results will be ready, ready for you in, in the platform itself. You will even get a notification, uh, like an email notification when, when the uh, analysis is complete and, and your samples are, are ready for, for, for viewing in the platform. So, once you click on start analysis, that's it. You can close the platform, uh, go to, go do some other tasks, uh, and then it will it will email you once the analysis is complete, and then you can come back and and do do the next steps as to uh, looking through the data or or then sending it for weird identification and, and so on. So very few simple steps. As I said, you get the data into the platform. There'll be a pre-built pipeline. And, and then that's it, you, you start analysis and you get the high quality uh, results uh, that can then be uh, interpreted uh, for in, in a clinical context. And then other thing that I wanted to focus uh, on is uh, there are other tools available in the platform itself, such as a genome browser. So once the analysis is complete, and, and you want to kind of look through the variant calls in terms of uh, genomic context. There are various genome browsers available in the platform itself uh, where you can just select the, the BAM files or the alignment files from the results and then launch a genome browser right there in, in that platform, the cloud-based platform and, and view your, your read pileups uh, in, in the, the platform itself. So again, this negates the need for you having to download the BAM file and then uploading it to like a local genome browser or some third party like a UCSC browser from your local machine. Uh, this platform allows you to visualize the results in, in the cloud itself, uh, simplifying your, your tasks of uh, sifting through the data and, and the uh, read pile ups and so on. So, so all you, you just work in the cloud platform and then you, uh, again, you don't have to uh, maintain anything or, or download uh, any any of the big results locally. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to kind of keep a copy of the results, uh, such as the variant calls, there are options available to download, but you, you don't have to. And with that, uh, I, I conclude my presentation of, of the CCI secondary analysis uh, platform, cloud-based platform powered by DNA Nexus. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Ajay, for that um, overview of the platform. So now we'll have time to take any questions. Again, please use the Q&A panel to submit any questions you have. So the first question that we have is, can you detect CNVs and fusions with the pipelines? Yep, great question. Yeah, definitely. So uh, the pipelines can be configured to detect all types of variants, including uh, SNVs, uh, small indels, and then, of course, uh, CNVs such as DELs and dupes. 
uh, and and even fusion. So any any type of variance, the pipeline can be configured to detect any any types of variance. Okay, great. The next question that we have is, is API access available for the platform? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So yeah, if, if you're if you're somebody uh, who is like command line savvy or Unix savvy, uh, doesn't like to be in the browser a whole lot, uh, there are APIs available for this platform, which you can utilize to even automatically uh, you can build scripts to automatically upload data, uh, pick up the analysis and, and download data. So there are uh, sophisticated APIs available for, for the platform to, to uh, further automate uh, your, your analysis if you, if you want it to. Okay. Okay. We have another question here that is, can the data be sent to QCI interpret directly from the platform? Yeah, so definitely. So that there is another module available which you could utilize if you do have subscription to our QCI interpret platform. You could definitely use that module to send over your detected uh, sample variants to the QCI interpret platform. And, and then uh, you, you can then interpret those uh, samples in the, the QCI platform, but you could uh, send your samples directly uh, from this uh, QCI secondary analysis uh, hardware the NXS uh, platform directly to the QCI interpret platform as, as long as you have access to QCI interpret. Thank you, Ajay. We're now reaching the end of our Q&A session. Again, if we didn't get to your questions today, we will follow up with you by email. I'd like to thank our speaker, Ajay Atavle, as well as our audience for your attention. We hope that this was informative, and if you have any remaining questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. This concludes today's session on QCI Secondary Analysis, Kyogen Cloud-based NGS Secondary Analysis powered by DNA Nexus. We look forward to seeing you in a future webinar. So thank you again, everyone, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.